Hello and welcome to my build guide for the Solarian Operator. This is easily one of my favorite classes. I'm glad I got found I'm able to do this video. Um, this class is completely unique in the way it functions, which is probably one of the reasons I like it so much. It's uh, mainly a support character. Um, you are going to do damage, um, but really your support is, is going to be your main role uh, because of a couple things that you got going. The invasion debuff is going to be what your class kind of revolves around. You're going to try and get that on as many, if not all, the enemies um, that you can. Like It's, it's actually going to be easier than you might think. You're going to have your shield boost to restore both your shields and your teammates, which is going to be incredibly helpful. It's got a pretty short cooldown, uh, definitely useful. And overload, you're going to be using to prime some of your other talents, as well as stun enemies, uh, do a little bit of damage to shields, and kind of creates just a character that does a little bit of everything in, in supporting ways. Uh, so let's take a look at invasion. Uh, right at the start, it's going to put a debuff on the enemy that makes them take more damage, and it's going to have a 6 meter spread radius, uh, we're going to be increasing that, but it doesn't have to be like right when you cast it, like any time an enemy gets within the radius of the target that you cast invasion on, it can and will spread to those targets, so there's no cap on this, and the spreading does seem to be able to chain, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it does seem like that's happening. So potentially if mobs keep running past each other, this will spread to everything. So through talents, we're going to re reduce the recharge time. You're going to want to cast this as often as possible. Like I said, you're going to try and get it on everything, so you're going to want that cooldown as low as possible. You don't really need outbreak because infecting more enemies at the target location like, that's going to happen anyways, because if the enemies are next to your target, it's going to spread, so it's kind of a redundant talent. Um, tier 5, we're going to go with duration and spread radius. Uh, again, spread radius because we want it to spread it to as much stuff as possible. The defense debuff is definitely useful. Um, I'd actually been running with that at first. Um, I was running that and sabotage uh, in my initial run with the build. Um, but eventually I switched it to this, and this is what I had better success with, so... Um, definitely recommending duration and radius there. And then for rank 6, like I said, I was using Sabotage. Um, it definitely has its merits, but after switching to... Uh, I'm going to mess this up. Virulence, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, when the enemy falls below 15% health, it triggers an explosion that damages the enemy and nearby enemies. This explosion basically will finish off any enemies that hit that threshold. It does actually a good amount of damage. I wish it did say how much it did because um, just a curious it, but it does kill the enemy basically if they fall below that threshold. Uh, exception being maybe like armored targets that just have a lot of health or something, but it's really cool. You're going to see like invasion killing enemies that you're nowhere near. You're just going to get non-stop pop-ups of invasion kills and your actual rewards, like how many points you gain from assists and kills and stuff, it's going to be backed up because you're getting so many notifications. It's it's kind of funny. Um, I am rank 20, and so I've got my points kind of split here, but just I'm going to go over these later. Um, but know that you can keep these at rank 1. This is possibly just a temporary setup that I've got here. So um, after you max invasion, which is definitely what I would plan on maxing first, um, I kind of started splitting points between offensive tech and support systems. Um, so looking at offensive tech first, um, you're going to basically, you want this because you're going to get your power damage, which is going to help invasion, um, some weapon damage, which is going to benefit because you're reducing enemies' defenses, get more power damage. Um, effect duration was one of the reasons I wanted to work through here, um, just to get my, my invasion lasting longer, as well as doing more damage when the explosion procs. And from support systems, the reason I wanted that is, again, radius right there, so that it can spread quicker and easier. And then uh, power restoration and defense here helps with my uh, shield boost, as well as the, the shield and health benefits that you get there. The revive is, is kind of whatever. I'd rather go with support systems there, definitely. Um, but then this is the big one, tech sabotage in tier 6. So damage debuff 30%. 
this makes it so like that final talent in invasion sabotage 15% enemy damage I mean you're doing the same thing except twice that and it applies to both your overload and your invasion so now when I cast invasion not only is it making the enemy take more damage explode when they get to low health but now they also are gonna deal less damage so having that on everything just makes the entire wave that much easier um, and then again, shield boost, uh, gonna restore shields to everybody. I've got these points in it, basically for the recharge speed and uh, the, the bonus shields there. And then overload, I just had some leftover points, so we can put in recharge speed. Now, invasion and then your your passives up to these points are, are really the core right there. Um, you can potentially take these points out of shield boost and out of overload, just have those at base. You could go offensive tech and then up to either one of these, basically. Um, if you take weapon mass reduction, the weight capacity will make it so you could use things like a Vanquisher, which, I mean, right now in the state of the game, it's basically equip a Vanquisher on any class and you're going to have success. So this will make that that much easier because you're going to want to stay at... Um, oops. You're going to want to stay at 100% recharge rate. You're not going to want to go over that, so... Um, that'll allow you to equip some heavier weapons. Um, you could also go with elemental tech, which is going to buff your um, overloads damage as well as kind of further your support role by making your teammates do more damage with the elements as well. So especially if you've got like a tech heavy group, that's going to be a noticeable buff for your team for sure. So you really have some flexibility with those final points. Um, I'm only rank one, level 20, so I don't have the bonus points from further ranks and honestly I'm not sure where I'm going to put those because you're not going to need a lot of the other end tier stuff from overload or shield boost like they're they're not going to be super important so really if you're going to work towards anything else at the end of a tier it's going to be one of these two um, in offensive tech and then I'd probably just split my points between the others so that you can get the recharge reductions because casting overload is going to also proc your tech sabotage and it's gonna stun so even though it doesn't do that much damage like it's just a useful ability to cast so all in all like the playstyle just revolves around spreading invasion on everything stunning and letting your team do most of the work um, as long as you're putting invasion on stuff it's cast and forget like the duration is gonna be so long you got 70% right there plus the 15 second base and then even more uh, I don't remember where it is but from your passes more duration as well yeah 20% right there so it lasts a really long time and it keeps spreading and spreading and you will do some damage um, your weapons not gonna matter a ton I'm using a Raptor right now just for fun like I think the Raptor is kind of just a fun weapon even though it's not necessarily top tier uh, the gameplay I recorded with this build right before doing this guide video um, I was actually using this, so uh, other weapons you could mess around with. Uh, I was playing mostly with the Scorpion. The Scorpion's just another all-around great weapon. Uh, the Equalizer works really well. I imagine you can use the Talon just fine. I haven't done that myself. Um, if you do have weight mass reduction, you could probably run something like a Falcon. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that would be fine. Heck, you probably wouldn't even need it, actually. Maybe I'll mess around with that a little bit, too. Because the, the defense debuff is going to increase the damage of any weapon you use, so you, the flexibility is really up to you. Um, as far as the rest of it, I just have my... Wow, I never know where it is. Uh, my Juggernaut Shield, because it's the only one I've got. But we'll see what other equipment comes around and see what else uh, might be better. Hopefully we'll get some tech-based stuff. And then consumables, I usually just run... Um, Recharge speed, actually, uh, I run that all the time. I'm almost out of them now because I want my invasion as short as possible. And then my other slot, I usually been running like an ammo, like an incendiary or something. But um, awesome, awesome character. Uh, make sure your team knows how to kill stuff because, again, you're a support role. You're going to be refilling their shields, debuffing the enemies, and not necessarily the carry. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, check out the gameplay if you want to see it in action, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks.